Hi people, welcome to our channel, The Archivist. Today in this session, my intention is to discuss about modern India-based MCQs, which asked in 2009 June net to the JRF examination. So without making any further delay, let's get the video. Question number one. What was the sequence of the establishment of factories in India by the following European powers? Choose your answer from the courts given below. Option one, English. Option 2 French Option 3 Dutch Option 4 Portuguese And the cards given below are Option A 4 3 1 2 Option B 1 3 2 4 Option C 2 4 1 3 Option D 3 1 4 2 and the correct answer is option A, 4, 3, 1, 2. That means Portuguese, Dutch, English and French. Question number 2. Nishan documents are defined as Option A, letters written in the name of Mughal princes. Option B, letters written in the name of Mughal emperor. Option C. Letters sent by the Mughal officials. Option D. Letters sent by the rulers to another ruler. And the correct answer is option A. Letters written in the name of Mughal princes. Question number 3. The Retwari settlements was made with the option A. Zamindas. Option B. Cultivators. Option C. Village Communities Option D. Mukdams And the correct answer is Option B. Cultivators Question number 4 Who remarked in 1834 that the bones of the cotton weavers are bleaching the plains of India? Option A. Lord Macaulay Option B. Lord William Bendict Option C. Dada Bhai Naroji Option D. Raja Ram Mohan Rai And the correct answer is Option B. Lord William Bendict Question number 5 The highest British capital investment in India was made in the Option A. Tea, Coffee and the Indigo Plantation Option B. Railways, Banking, Insurance and Shipping Option C. Cotton Textile Industry Option D. Jute Mills And the correct answer is Option A. Tea, Coffee and the Indigo Plantation Question number 6. Who was the first to formulate theory of three successive phases of British colonialism in India? Namely, mercantilist, free trade, mercantile capitalism and finance imperialism. Option A. Dada Bhai Naroji. Option B. R. C. Dutt. Option C. R. P. Dutt. Option D. Karl Marx. And the correct answer is Option D. Karl Marx. Question number 7. In 1920, the All India Trade Union Congress was organized by Option A. B.P. Wadia Option B. Mahatma Gandhi Option C. N.M. Joshi Option D. Jawaharlal Nehru And the correct answer is Option C. N.M. Joshi Option A. Jamshad G. Data Option B. Rastam Bahuramji Option C. Bahuramji M. Malabari Option D. Firosha Mehta and the correct answer is option C, Bahramji M. Malabadi. Question number 9. Which modern historian opinion that the so-called First National War of Independence was neither first nor national nor a war of independence? Option A, S.N. Sen. Option B, Tarachand. Option C, R.C. Majumdar. Option D, K.K. Datta. 
And the correct answer is option C, R.C. Majumdar. Question number 10. Who gave the call, one religion, one caste and one god for mankind? Option A, Jyoti Bafule. Option B, Swami Vivekanand. Option C, Sri Narayana Guru. Option D, Periyar Ramaswami Naika. And the correct answer is option C, Sri Narayana Guru. Question number 11. Who was a bitter critic of Sir Syed Ahmad Khan's idea and the alleged moment? Option A. Chiragali. Option B. Alta Hussein Hali. Option C. Nasir Ahmad. Option D. Jamaluddin Afghani. And the correct answer is option D. Jamaluddin Afghani. Question number 12. The two greatest pioneers in the course of widows' education were Option A. D.K. Carve and Pandida Ramabai. Option B. M.G. Ranade and R.G. Bandarka. Option C. Ishwar Chandra Vidya Sagar and Keshav Chandra Sen. Option D. B.M. Malabari and K. Sridharlu Naidu. And the correct answer is option A. D.K. Carve and Pandida Ramabai. Question number 13. Who argued that the Khilafat movement was a result of the emergence of a middle class among Indian Muslims? Option A. Francis Robinson. Option B. W. C. Smith. Option C. Mushirul Hassan. Option D. Muhammad Mujib. And the correct answer is option C. Mushirul Hassan. Question number 14. In the Ahmedabad mill strike of 1970, Mahatma Gandhi's intervention resulted in the enhancement of wages for the workers by Option A, 25%, Option B, 35%, Option C, 45%, Option D, 55%. And the correct answer is Option B, 35%. Question number 15. Chittagong Armory Raid was organized under the leadership of Option A. Jadindas Option B. Surya Sen Option C. Ganesh Ghosh Option D. Kudiram Bos And the correct answer is Option B. Surya Sen Question number 16 Who was the first president of the Harijan Sevak Sangha founded by Mahatma Gandhi? Option A. G. D. Birla Option B. Mahadev Desai. Option C. Amritalal Thakkar. Option D. Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. And the correct answer is option A. G. D. Birla. Question number 17. Who among us the following was chosen as Divan of three princely states? Mysore, Jaipur and Hyderabad. Option A. M. Vishweshwaraya. Option B. C. P. Ramaswamy Ayer. Option C. V. P. Madhava Rao. Option D. Mirsa Ismail. And the correct answer is option B. C. P. Ramaswamy Ayer. Question number 18. Adiyar was the famous center and headquarter of the Option A. Arabindo Ashram. Option B. Madras Mahajan Sabha. Option C. Theosophical Society. Option D. Ramakrishna Mission. And the correct answer is option C. Theosophical Society. Thank you for watching. Stay connected. If you like this video then please do subscribe to our channel and also press the bell button for the latest updates. We will meet very soon with another interesting video. Till then it's me signing off. The Archivist.